Hello and welcome to another episode of Laptop Retrospective and today we're talking about the TicWatch E again because something actually was brought to my attention by one of the viewers in the comment section that I kind of disregarded at first and that was they found like these really cheap TicWatch E's online somewhere and they said, should I buy one? And I'm like, uh, gee, I don't know. Um, where these are made, it wouldn't surprise me if some of people are starting to duplicate or maybe even counterfeit the watch. And I said, I, I wouldn't do it. But then another user um, bought a TicWatch E in China, uh, Shanghai specifically, and they realized something that is not well known. And that is if you buy a TicWatch E or S in China, it will not be running uh, either uh, Android Wear 2 or Wear OS, it will be running a TicWare firmware. And I suspect that's for two reasons. One, the NFC chip that was in the original TicWatch was not something that would work well with Google software. And secondly, uh, China has a very unique relationship with Google and its information network and government and all that other stuff that I am not gonna go into detail on here. However, if you are buying a tick watch and it is coming from a Chinese seller, make sure that it is the international version. If not, uh, you will be like one user who got the tick watch, and I'll show some pictures here. It was kind of interesting to see uh, these be sent to me, clearly showing that it was a tick watch E, and clearly showing that it wasn't running the Android Wear OS or uh, any kind of Wear OS at all. Uh, that being said, if you are one of the people that did order one of these watches and either can't or don't want to be bothered with a return, uh, there is a second option uh, for you. There are a group of developers on the XDA forums that have uh, dumped the ROM for the Android uh, Wear 2 version. So uh, what you can do is you can essentially flash uh, the correct software uh, for your region uh, to the internal ROM of the watch and get a international version that way. Uh, the NFC chip, as far as I know, that was built into the Chinese version will not work, uh, so you're not going to be gaining anything uh, by doing this with the Chinese version as opposed to the international version. So if you are one of those people, that is the solution. If you are looking to purchase the watch and you're trying to get a real you know, steal of a deal, just be aware that you might be buying the Chinese version and you might have a couple of steps ahead of you. Again, I don't have one of these Chinese versions, so I can't confirm or deny that the uh, XDA forms uh, ROM is going to work well, but from what I can see in the comments, it seems like it's done, uh, done the job. So just be on the lookout. And if you have any more questions about the TicWatch E, please feel free to leave them in the comments, follow me on Twitter, or ask them on Curious Cat. And a special thank you to that anonymous user that allowed me to use these pictures and have a quick DM chat with me on Twitter. It is much appreciated uh, that I had your permission to bring this video to our community. So shout out to you. And I'll see you next time.